Hi guys, welcome back to Chariot Palmistry. In this video, we're going to look at the swastika symbol, how it's formed and what it means, and what its variations are. Okay, so before we start, let me just say that this is not a Nazi video. We're talking about the Indian swastika. On this channel, we talk about palmistry and spirituality, so if that's the sort of stuff that you're into, then subscribe to us. Otherwise, if you're a KKK member, then you've come to the wrong place. Okay, so this is what the symbol actually looks like, and when it turns up on a hand, then it gives spiritual intelligence. So this is someone who is opening up to the idea of a spiritual life, and people normally start to develop this sign in their early teenage years. The swastika grows on two main areas. The first is under the index finger, in the area ruled by Jupiter. Now Jupiter gives spiritual insight and a love of all things mystical. So the swastika over here will amplify its usual meaning and make someone psychic to a large degree. The other common place you'll find the swastika is in the middle of the palm. Here it's going to be formed by several lines, and this is generally misshapen. So what this does is it shows you that this is a person who has studied some spiritual texts in their life. Now most people in their school days are taught the basics of spirituality, either through school or their parents. So a swastika here shows that they are starting to develop those skills into real life. So let's see the swastika at work. This is the hand of a woman in her mid-30s. Let's have a look at her career line. Now notice how she also has a success line growing out of this line. These two lines actually form the boundary of a temple, so we can tell that she'll be working in the spiritual field at some point in her career. I've done a video on the temple symbol separately, so if you want to learn about that sign, then check out the link in the description section below. But back to this hand. You'll notice that she's got a third career line here too that starts on her hand. So the vertical lines on her hand are actually looking pretty good. Let's have a look at the horizontal lines. This is a branch from her heart line that cuts her lifeline at a young age. And that shows heartbreak. And in the case of this woman, her mother died when she was in her pre-teens. There's a second line that comes from the heart line and also cuts her lifeline. This shows more heartbreak. And in the case of this person, she lived in India and got married to someone in Australia. So she left all her friends and family for a new country and had to start up life all over again. There's a third line that comes from the sun line and cuts her lifeline. Here we can tell that she's lost some friends. And what happened was that she had some family problems as a result of which a lot of her family and friends didn't talk to her for several years. Okay, so there's good stuff and bad stuff on this hand. So how do we put all of this together into a narrative? Let's start by taking the loss of a mother at a young age to begin with. That got her thinking about spirituality and the afterlife. And from this, she decided that she wanted to work in the field of spirituality. But then she got married and left her roots. But as it turns out, her husband had a business and he'd actually opened up a crystal shop about six months before they met. So her ambition actually fell into her lap. As a result of this, she started to become more successful and ran a shop like a temple where people would come from all around her state to meet her and see her crystals. That success opened up more channels for her and she started to plan to open up her own business as a Vastu consultant. This success brought about the attention and jealousy of some family members who created problems for her. All of these events together form the swastika on her hand, so you can see a chain of cause and effect starting with the death of her mother at a young age, leading to success that she stumbled upon, and then she developed, then ultimately led to strife with some of her family and friends. This is how spirituality and spiritual intelligence develops on someone's hand. Now there is a happy ending for this woman in case you're wondering. She'll start up a vast side business in a few years and she'll do very well out of that. And how do we know this? Because the swastika also gives wealth and abundance. But that prosperity comes after spiritual learning. There's a few signs that are similar to the swastika and they are commonly found on the Jupiter Mount. So if you're looking at what you think is a swastika, make sure you aren't actually looking at a window symbol. That has a different meaning altogether. The other thing we can say about the swastika is that it's normally found with the Ring of Solomon or Ring of Jupiter. That sign gives spiritual awareness, whereas the swastika gives spiritual intelligence. So the two go well together, so if you see one, look for the other one carefully. Now I have done a video on the Ring of Solomon, so if you want to check that video out, it's in the description section below. Alright guys, that's my take on the swastika symbol. It gives you spiritual intelligence. And if you want to learn more about this sign or how to develop it, then check out our book called The Dictionary of Indian Palmistry Symbols, where I go into more detail on this sign and many others. And if you like this video, subscribe to this channel or hit the like button. Thank you very much guys.